Hi, Blazing Yeti here. So this is the continuation of the last video where I showed you how to get to this point without buying anything. If you haven't watched that video, don't worry, this will apply to anybody who's starting the Kai Prefo Heist for the first time. And once again, this can all be done in an invite only session. Right, so let's get into it. First of all, we need the sub. Don't buy any upgrades yet, unless you have a few spare million, then if you want to buy anything, I suggest just buying the Sparrow. It's the only thing you need out of the submarine, really. Right, so once you've brought the sub, go down to the beach and use the sub menu to call out the submarine. Get yourself on the rubber dinghy and then go and get over to the submarine. When you get to the submarine, you will get a short cutscene. When the cutscene's over, you will need to access the planning table. To do that, you need to be a VIP, CEO, or something like that. Hopefully, you saved a little bit of money from the last time and you can just quickly register as a CEO. Once you've registered as a CEO, give yourself a funny name, do whatever you want. Then you're going to go and click on the planning table and it's going to give you your first mission, which is to go and grab some intel. We will need to go to the airport. Airport. So what I like to do is because you've pulled up the sub from the beach, I like to just swing the sub around, park it next to the airport, and then you can just run out. If you have the sparrow, obviously you can fly over there. When you get to the airport, go to the hangar and you will activate a cutscene that will bring you over to the island. When you get to the island, your first task was just driving Mr. Rubio to the party. That's very simple. It's just going in a straight line pretty much. When you get to the party, you need to basically escape the party so that we can go around and look at the island. If you do what I do you stand here and have a little look at this guard over in the background you'll see that he will move as soon as he starts to move just peg it and go and run behind him when you get to there you'll go past the gate when you come out the gate you're now into this section so even if you get caught at this point don't worry it will bring you back to this gate however if you follow what I'm about to do you'll get through this first checkpoint really easily this is normally the one where people get caught on what you do is just come down here down the side of these rocks then you want to wait for the man at the top on the tower to turn around start through the gate run around the back i always grab this quad cut through these trees here and then just basically cut through the back of all the stuff try not to hit these imaginary trees that are ridiculously strong then you need to make your way over to rubio's front gate when you get to his front gate it would activate a little scene where Pavel starts talking to you again then you need to go and head over to the communications tower now you'll see the communications tower from anywhere on the map it's the tallest thing on the map and it's right smack bang in the middle when you get to the comms tower we're looking for a server box server box can be in a few locations it could be at these two little sheds at the very bottom or it could be on any one of the floors above hopefully it's not on the top floor and you can get it done nice and quickly there is a simple maps puzzle don't worry it's nothing too hard once you've cracked the code you'll get a new application on your phone and then you can view the security cameras inside of rubio's mansion just skip along until you get to the basement you want to scope out the basement if it's your first time then obviously you'll be looking into the safe because it's always in the safe the first time after that it could either be something in the safe or it could be something in the glass cabinet so you just need to pan the camera around to look at evil one once you've done that i always just check the office just in case there's a painting there because paintings are easy to grab however i didn't actually grab any paintings on this run and i'll show you a little bit why i did that later on so you you can look around the security cameras and find more intel but in reality all you ever need is the stuff i'm going to show you in this video you can go back at a later date and you can scope them all out if you want to find different fun and more interesting ways to do this heist for me and for everybody else you will normally find it easier just to do these set ones that i'm going to show you once you've done these you don't have to do them again you'll only have to do the secondary loots again all the other loots don't worry about it so once you've done the comms tower you're going to be sent over to go and photograph the north dock this is a good one because this is one of the intakes that we actually need to gather once you've taken a photograph of the north dock it will then ask you to go into the warehouse to take a photo of the stuff in the warehouse and then takes a photo of some bulk croppers on the side what i suggest doing here is going and grabbing a boat now i didn't i actually went to the airport first and then had to come back and try and get a boat later on so it's quicker and easier if you can steal a boat now swing that round to the airport and then we're going to go and check the warehouses at the airport you will also need to take a picture of the comms tower that's there as well the warehouse the big warehouse will have two tables on the bottom and then one on the top if you need to ever get to the top one you use the forklift to the side of you pick up the box move it up against the wall however if your loot in this one is really really bad you can head over to the other side of the airport just across the road and there is one more warehouse in there 
and sometimes that you know has some good stuff in it as well so don't skip that one always make sure if you're going to go back and do the gathering tab at least these two are the two warehouses that you need to photograph because if you're going to do the elite challenge and stuff these are the quickest and easiest ones to grab now that you have checked the loot here and you've taken the photo of the comms tower we're going to jump back in the boat and we're going to drive all the way around the island until we get to the back of mr rubio's mansion once we're at the back of the mansion all you need to do really you don't even need to get out the boat you can just drive the boat around the back of it into this location where you'll see that i am and you'll see in the bottom left hand corner that you have located the drainage tunnel this is going to be our main way to get in and it's the easiest and best way to do that and that's it that's all we need from this place we go back to the airport and speak to the pilot you have to speak to the pilot the first time you do this mission after that you just go back into the plane itself so that's everything you need from this island the only reason you'll need to come back is you would need to do the communications box to check the main loot inside of the safe or inside the glass cabinet and you will also need to check whatever secondary loot you have at the airport that's all you need to come back for everything else you've scoped out and you found which makes it you know 10 times faster the next time you go so when you get sent back to los santos you will be sent back to the airport and luckily for us we parked right next to it normally there's a car already left there for you so just grab that drive back get in your submarine and we're going to look at the planning table first one we're going to do is the approach vehicle the meta for this one the main one that everyone grabs is the long fin because it just allows you that ease of access and you can get around the whole island without even being bothered by a guard so the long fin mission is super simple it's going to tell you to go to where the long fin is located as you get a little bit closer Pavel's going to tell you where a truck is so then we're going to go and find a truck either one doesn't really matter if you want to go and grab the phantom wedge that's fine if you already have your own phantom wedge even better then you can just spawn that in and away you go if not like i didn't i don't have anything yet so i literally just went and grabbed the normal truck back that up in there easiest thing to do is just reverse it in grab the long fin and then bring up your map put a waypoint in this location and the reason why you're going to do that is because while you've got the cops on you're not going to know where it's going to ask you to bring the long fin so bring the long fin to this location when you get here you will probably still have cops on you don't worry about evading them just get out let them kill you ends the police chase you'll spawn just next to your van somewhere and come out jump in it move it about a little bit you will have completed that mission simple as next we need to get this safe code just going to head to the casino go down the elevator it's going to bring you to the car park first of all unless you own the penthouse and you already have a key card you're going to look for tom's car and steal his key card once you've done that you're going to go back in the elevator go back up to the top floor and you're going to be looking you're going to get a text with the guy's face that you're looking for it's always the same guy i think it's the guy in the cowboy hat once you find him blast him in the face kill everyone on your way out and then make a great escape once you're at the casino you just need to leave the area and get back to your submarine easy stuff next one on the planning list is the fingerprint cloner you go to a warehouse and there'll be a few guys stood inside you kill those people then you have a little puzzle on a laptop super easy once you've cracked the code it will give you the location of the device when you get to the location just a row of loads of tables just look along the tables and for me it's always on the tables at the back so i just run straight to the back pick up the key card leave when you leave you will get some of their bad guys trying to kill you so just hightail it out of there get back to submarine as fast as possible and that's it job done now we need to go and grab the cutting torch you'll be asked to go to the construction site it's always one of two i think or one of three construction sites that you go to now you either have the option here to go and look for a hard hat and try and sneak around or you could just do what i do kill all the guards every time bit of shooting practice and then you're looking in these toolboxes for a cutting torch looks like this and there you go easy stuff once you've got the cutting torch you just need to make your way back to the submarine again the last one we're going to need is to choose what guns now it doesn't really matter what guns that you choose i just choose the conspirator because i've always chosen that one and the mission is rather simple for it what it's going to do is it's going to take you to one of the offices in the center of town when you get there there's a few guys at the door kill those guys make your way into the office the office is loaded with people kill everybody in the office and then you need to go to the gun case at the back if you already own an office you'll know where this gun case is if not it's just this section on the back left panel it will tell you that it's locked so then just turn around go on the laptop you solve a puzzle it will unlock it collect the guns get out of there get yourself to your submarine and then that's everything done so far bring up the planning table and go over to finale choose exactly what i have chosen here the approach vehicle will be the long fin the infiltration point will be the north dock compound entry point will be the drainage tunnel the escape point will be wherever you want because we're making our own escape we're making our own way out of here and i'll show you that later on time of day doesn't really matter i always pick night they say there's less guards i haven't noticed any difference and then now go to your weapon loadout then double click the suppressors 
and then you will get them for free simple stuff finally it's time to complete this heist first of all we're going to take the long fin to the airport and there is one guard in front of this warehouse and we're going to pop him in the head take the loot whatever you've got in there make sure you fill your bag if you need to go to the warehouse on the other side there are two guards chatting to each other if you're quick enough you can pop both of them in the head straight away and they won't notice anything and then on the back of the building you will have a camera there to take out and then there's just one little warehouse there once you've done that and you've checked that get back in the boat drive back around the same way we did to find the drainage tunnel then we're going to go jump out the boat make sure you equip yourself a rebreather you get given the rebreathers for free whenever you do this mission so don't worry about Without wasting them just chuck one of them on swim down and we're gonna go and open up the drainage tunnel simple all you gotta do depending on what you're using mouse or controller just flick the stick across to the side touch the bars for a split second then move on to the next one you can do this super quick once that's open swim up the tunnel hit enter on the door and you'll get yourself into mr rubio's this bit is better if you do this with speed because everybody's movements are predetermined so run up these steps shoot this first guy in the face then move over here and shoot this second guy in the face just continue on this little route that I'm about to go. So through the tunnel, around the corner. Then there'll be one guy that's going to walk in front of you. Go past him. Then you'll see on the top of these stairs, there'll be another guy looking down. We're going to shoot him in the face. Then run around the way I'm going. And then you'll see the next guy. You'll hit him in the back of the head or shoot him in the face. Whatever you want to do. Continue on up those little stairs. Then there'll be one more guy that's about to come around the corner. Shoot him. Now you've got access to Mr. Rubio's office. Now hopefully one of those three guys is normally always the guy that drops the keys that you're going to need to get in the side gate in a minute if you haven't got the keys you will have to kill a few more guards until one of them drops them unfortunately however for me every single time it's one of these guys when you're in the office the only thing we're really looking for here is the safe so open up the safe which is hidden in this door once you've got that it's an extra little bonus if you haven't filled your bag yet and you need a painting one of these walls may have a painting on it and then you're going to run down the stairs jump over this little bar and then jump over this little wall and you're going to open this gate down on the side when we get in here you're going to get to a fingerprint scanner this fingerprint scanner if you're on easy mode will have one puzzle to do if you're on hard mode will have two now this puzzle is super super easy when you know how to do it if you imagine top of the fingerprint is number one the very tip then the second row is the first one across from the tip so that would be number two and then if you go down the third line is the third one and and so forth and so forth and it's very very simple once you've hacked the gate make your way through and you'll get to another gate which will ask you to open it with a cutting torch once you've opened up the cutting torch if you've got the safe you're doing this first time you will have the safe you'll get a text with the code on it you just need to memorize the code and put it in on the safe once you've opened the safe we need to make a great escape as fast as possible what we're going to do is just hightail it out of here run up these stairs you've got two guards that are waiting here i always shoot them in the face you probably can make it around them without doing anything but i just like to finish them off quickly get them out of the way and then you're going to hit the button on this door go through this stupid cut scene that you'll probably see a thousand times after you know how to do this once you're out the gate you're going to see the man standing there by a bike you want to shoot him in the face nick his bike just drive straight off the edge as fast as you can try not to hit any of those stupid indestructible trees when you hit the wall Water, you will lose a little bit of health and a little bit of money but at the end of the day it's such a small amount it's not going to make a difference what this does to increase the speed far outweighs how much you're going to lose once you've landed in the sea you're just going to swim out past these landmines and just go out as far as you can and it will eventually you'll see the writing at the bottom will disappear and that's that but if you've done it as fast as what i did and you did everything the same way then you should have cleared the elite challenge gives you a bit of bonus cash plus for completing this the first time you will also get an extra bonus for doing that now what i suggest normally once you've done this the first time and you've got your bonuses you'll have about two million what i suggest is if you haven't already buy the sparrow the sparrow is one of the best helicopters in the game and it reason why is because it's just so quick it's not as durable as most other vehicles in this uh, I, t I seem to blow it up quite a lot however you can always spawn it from the submarine you know bonuses there but just buy the sparrow it's going to make your life a hell of a lot easier and you're going to be able to do these 10 times faster now if you want to do this on hard mode just wait for Pavel to text you and get back to the submarine as soon as possible. If you leave it too much time before actually going back after he's texted you, if you leave it too long, then he's going to switch it to easy mode. There's no option to toggle it on or off. If you get there quickly, you will activate 
it hard mode. If you get there too late, you'll activate easy mode. But I always suggest just going straight back to the sub and even waiting for that text. Now, that's it. Done. You can repeat this over and over again. Make yourself millions and millions. I did, I did this straight away afterwards for the second time. And I got the pink diamond, which I've never actually got before. So I was super happy with that. If you'd like to see more, let me know in the comments. Thank you very much. Please hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks again. Bye for now.